so let me show you how to turn this photo into this photo but first a huge thanks to mac who sent me this photo now let's work on it let me first brighten this image up by just dragging this upwards so that everything is a lot better visible right and then the next step is to go to the color calibration one because this image needs some white balancing and i always use this module for that because i just think that it works best now to get the best white balance you want all of these to align perfectly with one another so in this case that means that we need to bump up the reds and then let's go to the green tab and let's bump that up a bit as well and now let's go to the blue tab and let's drop that and i think that looks great for this image right moving on to the next one which is the tone equalizer module so let's find that one in the search bar let's activate it now i could just drag all of this down because that's black basically and we can drag this up to brighten the image even more without affecting any of these colors, right? And then this is where the magic happens and we, where we are really going to make this come alive. First, let's activate the local contrast module. And you already see a lot more details being brought into the image. Now I'm going to increase this to around 160. You can also use the presets, so the clarity one, but that drops the highlights and the shadows. In this case, I just like to use the standard one. There we go. And then to really top this out, we need the low pass module. Now, once you've activated that, we're going to drag this to the left. And that looks horrible, right? But there's a special trick for this because if you go up here to the uniformly button, you have the ability to change the modes, right? From normal, average, etc. We're going to pick overlay and there you go. That looks so much better. Now you can play around with these settings to make it look even better. You can play around with the brightness as well to brighten it up or to darken it down. And you can change the saturation, but if you change the saturation to the right, you will see a yellow glow over here. Maybe it's the sun on the other side, I don't know. But in this case, I want it to stay gray. So let's just drop it to here. And that's how you can change uh, this image into uh, this image using Darktable. Hope you guys like it.